Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev, welcome back to this let's play of Victoria 2 with the historical project mod as the United States of America. Okay, so we're having a bit of a financial issue. Go figure. I think it's time to increase the tariffs a bit. Um, how much do we have left? Not, well, 600,000, we can last this for a while, but... It didn't take long for this to switch around. Anyway. Anyway, we're gonna have to fight the Canadians. That's gonna be painful. We're trying to evacuate our forces here before they are completely squished. So, I think we're just gonna go here and, you know, evict their forces. That way I don't have to send down another detachment down here. They're going to take control of the canal. I can't stop that. Not when they have a force like that big. I think we need at least three full of our armies in order to match that one. But that's okay. That's okay. We can get war score elsewhere. Uh, we just have to fight where they're not. Ideally. At least until we're able to do uh, some force concentration. Okay, you finished that. I do think I want you to keep pursuing this way. Yeah. I think you should be strong enough to kill this. I hope so, at least. And we're still one artillery short before we can actually make a proper army there. Uh, you finished sieging, and you're moving on the canal, which is not a big surprise. land. And then we're going to move our transport to somewhere safe. I'll have to go up into the gulf. Probably the safest bet. Yeah, Panama City has been lost. Go figure. And uh, now you're occupying the actual canal. Chile can be added, or at least improved relations with, so let's do so. Cordial. Life is good. Yeah, our inland forts are coming online. Just start occupying that stuff. You are... Yeah, you're going to take all of that area. I can't stop that, though. Took all we had to try to evict, evict one little German, German army here. And now, of course, it's going to reinforce because it wasn't destroyed. These and little annoyances. Life's little annoyances. Sitka has been occupied, so he finally has some clay in Alaska. Why are you... It is the same province, right? Yes, it is. So go and take this. So that's part of Alaska. So now we actually have a foothold in Alaska. I do think we have to own all of it before... Before uh, Britain would even consider... Making peace though, so this could take a while. They are suffering attrition. That's oh good, or fifty thousand troops. That has to be. That has to be a um, conscripted army. But there's nothing I can do about that. I just do not have the forces to. Go down there just now. Okay, now we can make a proper army here. One Hussar. One, two... Actually, no, we're still one artillery short.
That is unfortunate. That, that's a fleet. Oh, you're right, you're done. So go and kill that, please. And then move here. If we can evict them here and sink this fleet, that would be fantastic. I am not suffering attrition right by just sitting here, am I? No, I don't think so. It's a pretty pretty big fleet there, so I'm kind of content with that. You took the canal, so now that's close to us. At least I assume it's close to us. Yep. Uh, right, we're fighting one little Canadian. Detachments. There's that occupation. Go kill. Then go there. If nothing else, it at least pauses Britain's conquest of Africa. So it ain't all bad, I suppose. You are moving, right? Yes. And they haven't, don't have any forts here, so there's that. Another little war one. Oh, you moved away. Um, where are you going? Oh, you little clever bastard. Um, fine, we'll occupy this and then we'll attack you there afterwards because you can't possibly siege that down in time. Uh, you finished on the siege here too? Good. Move on. Germany got there first. Interesting. Yeah, Edmonton is on the siege. They're moving, right? These are actually... Oh, they are fortified. Huh. Interesting. You have actually fortified the border. Yeah, you went there. That's... No big surprise, but we're gonna go here, siege that down, go and kill you, and then take on the next province. Canada is going down. Mm, the big question now is what's gonna what is it gonna take before Britain is willing to cave? Quite a lot. And Dringoism is on the rise, so we'll be able to demand things soon. Though that's going to cost us the full, uh, extend, uh, full, um, uh, what's it called? Full infamy value, that's the one. Uh, we will die, that's unfortunate. We're about ready to evict this fleet. And that's a lot of transports. That's actually three separate fleets. There we go. I mean, might as well do this. It's safe. Uh, our transports did escape, right? Yes, they did. I don't see anyone new here and depositing more troops, which is good. Did I get another artillery somewhere? I did. Go there, so we have another army. Yeah, Kodiak is probably where we want to go. And at that point, after Kodiak, we'll have to split the forces. It doesn't look like they have anyone defending this stuff. Uh, we might want to do that now, then. Um, do 
do that. Try to occupy it a little bit faster. Hopefully they won't take advantage of our scattered nature. There we go, they were evicted. They're gonna go down here next, probably. What? Mexico? Don't give access to the Germans. That's, that's not nice. Wait, what? They're winning? Their number is in the green, right? Um, that can't be right. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but oh well. We'll see what the end result is. Yeah, I know, we're losing the occupations here, that's not something I can do. Not something I can stop, unfortunately. Oh yeah, this army is badly injured, but still, go on. I think you can fight one battle. I think you have one battle in you. Anyway, this army is ready to go. Though you're gonna need more reinforcements before I'm ready to fight that mega stack down there. Uh, still... March there. It's a long march, but I don't think I dare attack until this one's somewhat reinforced. Which means they should probably just stay there. Okay, so we sunk... 25 ships, 15 escorts, 10, 10 transports. And I don't know where the hell the rest of them left, but the rest of them went. I mean, we lost the canal, so that's... Uh, that's bad. Go back to New Orleans. I think we're taking care of most of their transports, and that really helps. I don't know what the hell they're doing with their, with their battleships, though. Because we've only encountered one capital ship. Only one. Militancy. We can fight them out, it's fine. Have I spent all my money yet? No. Go kill and then move to this province. Actually, you're gonna move all the way south. This war age is on. We're starting to be, become close to the point where we can actually add more war goals, but uh, I don't know. It's gonna be kind of tough to get. 45% war score cost. Anyway, uh, sorry about that. Uh, oh, my goodness. I'm being a bit distracted right now because of the cat. He's trying to walk on the keyboard, and that kind of. kind of has some side effects if he does that, so. Calm down, kitty. Yes, I love yes. Ah. That's the problem, you see, you see, because the way I've set up the microphone, he has to kind of walk across the keyboard. Or the one of the keyboards. Usually either he tries to walk across the laptop or the regular keyboard. And that kind of has some side effects. If he, Because he thinks that's some, uh, ni something nice to pawn. There we go, finally. He's, he's settled down. We can continue. 
We can continue the war into nothingness. The War of Doom. Why do I still have... Right, I'll still have visuals here because of how the whole area is organized. It irks me that they don't suffer more attrition. Then again... <laughs> well, that's our supply limit, I think, but still. Yeah. You have a bit of supply there. Anyway, that's a destruction of an army. This one, right? Yes. That's the end of that occupation. Well, what do you know? Um... Forty-five war score. Cancel that. We're almost at the point where we can add more stuffs. So I am willing to wait. We'll be able to gain more territory before uh, before that. I mean, he's gonna occupy this. We can't stop that. Suddenly, I'm kind of glad about Canada. Yes, they're here. And that means that all their uh, mobilized, mobilized troops are going to be right on our doorstep. And there weren't any mobilized troops here, so I assume that mobilized troops will only happen in core territories. Because they definitely mobilized. That's why we see that stack of doom with just infantry down there. But I am disinclined to make peace right now. Because we're so close to getting more jingoism. And there we go. More naval bases. I do think we have to go in industry. We're going to have to go with this supply limit. In, if this war is going to continue, that's what we're going to need. Um, 1890. What's the tech we really needed to get the 1990? Like, say, that's 1900. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we need that blue and brown school thing in order to occupy the rest of the islands. That's of, of the Hawaiian Islands, that's fine. So we have the decision, we just have to be at peace. Um, That requires telephones, right? Yes, that's not gonna happen. This requires investment banks, but I wanna wait with that until we see what we actually get from the from the whole area, from Africa. Titanic's required that requires dreadnoughts and high seas. Oh. Um. Yeah, that's not gonna be possible for us anyway until. 1895. Uh, what unlocks dreadnoughts? Steam turbines. Yeah, we need so we need both of these in order to build the Titanic. I do think there are quite a few other things we need to get first. This war has kind of taught us that we need to catch up on military. But uh, at least if we're going to fight them outright, so far we haven't had had to. Had to. But uh, Germany has definitely shown us that they have a much smaller army. And they are terrifying to fight, so... Luckily, we've not been able to sink most of the British transports by the looks of things. And that's rather nice. Rather nice indeed. So yeah, they do offer peace, and uh, I would like to take it. The thing is, though, I was kind of hoping to get more territory. So I want to wait until I get the jingoism. What? What did we finish occupying? 
Yeah, there we go. It's a good thing he hasn't moved across here, so they, the AI will not move across uninhabited or uncolonized territory. They will ask for military access. But they will not just, you know... Walk across the unknown. Which is good news for me. Oh, what? what's that? That's, that's the Canadian fleet. That's the Canadian fleet, so that's not really that big of a deal. Um, it's war score though, so... But you know, you know, sail along the coast, please. Just in case there's a massive British fleet l l lurking out there. They do have a ton of capital ships, I just haven't seen them. There we go, Blue Water Schools. Wait, you're still marching, good. Can we add War Goal? Why did the Jinguism... Okay, we'll wait a bit longer, but why did that go up? I think that went up. Mm, lost that occupation, yes, and you're starting to occupy that. Yeah, that's fine. Good thing Canada was such a punching bag here. That did help us a, a fair bit. Um, do we have more Jinguist goals on you? No, it's the same thing. But we're almost there. I don't know if we're gonna do that. I just want to see if we can. What, and what it's going to cost us. What, what it's going to cost us. Da, da, da. Yeah, start to occupy. That's fine. Yeah, maybe you don't want to go there. Yeah, the supply is much worse. Continue on along the border first. Still, we have been at war for nearly a year, and that has uh, has hurt our image. <laughs> that is sort of an insult. Okay, um, I didn't even notice. That's that's why I have to keep an eye on these naval forces, because that's so, things like that are such annoyances to get rid of. Um. So I think the war is going to end before that occupies any. That they managed to occupy Guantanamo. Fairly certain of that. Okay, so we can add place in the sun. Five point five. We do have enough infamy for that, right? We do. <laughs> we have to be very quiet afterwards, but we can add one place in the sun. Um, Right, because Australia and New Zealand hasn't been created yet. Ah. Now 
The sad thing is that no matter what I go for... No matter what I go for, it's not gonna be a full state. Northwest Territories is one none of us own. I don't think carving in half will help anything, so it's basically British Columbia I want to... Actually, these are two ter territories, aren't they? Yeah, you have one in Colombia. Then you still have one in Northwest Territories. Ah. Anyway, since we can't afford the infamy, I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna have to think a bit about what we're gonna demand. Ideally, I would would have wanted this so I could connect everything. Unfortunately, that requires two states, since we can't march across the Rockies here. Anyway, and uh, having these as a single province and uh, states isn't necessarily a bad thing, because we can declare war with that as the war goal, right? In the initial war goal, which means we're gonna occupy it quickly and uh, settle it faster, so we kind of want to go for something that has a ton of provinces. And ideally something that will actually carve them into some other pieces, so... Manitoba might be a better choice. It's gonna be Borgor Galore, I know, but... Uh, it's gonna carve them into quite a little bit of a piece there. Uh, unless I can add a Wargol on... Canada. Okay, so I can't conquer land from Canada. Hmm. Okay, I'll look through my options and we'll I'll figure out what to do. Time for a break. Thank you for watching.